Time done flew by. It's been a year already. Yeah, already. What's the reason why you moving again? My lease is up. What you mean? Okay. What other reasons do people move? Well, you know. Some people never get knows. evicted. I ain't not this time. I ain't get evicted <laughs> this time. I got both of my boys full time, and I have my nephews a lot of the times too. So it's mandatory for me to get a bigger house. So I call Cheyenne over to come help me pack up and you know get everything together. But my real motive is to get her and Mom Dukes to kill that beef they've been having because I'm tired of it. So you found barbershops for me and shoot. I did. I found you a couple of little locations. You know, he's a pretty solid dude from what I know about him. You know what I'm saying? Stand up pops and whatnot. But I think he's gonna be cool. Just when I thought that I talked Shooter into going public with our relationship, his whole life blew up. I feel terrible about what happened to Paris. Right now is not the time to talk to him about taking our relationship to the next level. I'm letting you know now, Dukes is on the way to the spot. And all the bickering and pettiness or whatever it is about phone bills and it don't hold no weight. So to my understanding, Cheyenne has a phone on Mom Duke's phone plan and she ain't pay a bill. And we know Dukes, you know, she took it way out of proportion, she blew up and she turned it into war. I don't know what's going on in this place. The door's not locked. See, I was expecting you. I don't need the door to be locked. Hey, Ma, how you doing? I'm good. So I brought my high blood pressure thing, because I need to know how far I can go today. I got some stuff I got to say to Cheyenne. You carry this with you everywhere? I have to, because I've been up. I see this Cheyenne like she is my own blood, and I can't even believe the disrespect that she's shown me in return. This is not just about a phone bill. This is about Cheyenne's nasty-ass attitude. She came at me so f***ing reckless. It's 180 over 124. It's too high. Just That's so. extremely high. I'm really beefing with your sister. So I've heard. Cheyenne, I know that you had the money to pay your phone bill. You didn't pay it to spite me because I had cussed you out. But I cussed you out because you were talking <laughs> You was being a bitch. That's I was not. I have no reason to make it up. I'm not petty, but when you say <laughs> you bitch, it was like a stab in my <laughs> heart. I never said that on that phone. I've seen KK take situation from two to ten with people before, but I never thought that she'd do it with me. Last week, we was one big happy family. This week, we over here fighting over a cell phone bill. Yeah, things got heated, but I never disrespected her or called her out her name. That is a complete lie. You're never going to admit to what you really say. It's OK. I will. I will admit no, when I'm wrong. No, you're not admitting to it now. I'm no, I love no. you enough to admit when I'm wrong. But you're not it's saying it. So how can this situation be solved? You need to say you're sorry. I, I think, think you need to apologize. apologize. No, I'm not going to say I'm sorry. I'm not going to apologize for this because you're not admitting that you said what you said. Well, at some point, somebody's going to have to be the bigger person. I'm going to be the small bitch this time. Did you tell him about Shooter? Mm, tell me what. If you like that video, subscribe to VH1's 11 Hip Hop YouTube channel for more.